the whole idea of this recording, and it doesn't have any fancy things, is just to talk about Razer and Steel Series products, um, the ones that I have. And yes, I am losing. I'm using like a, a Logitech headset that's like really cheap, and we will get back into that just in a second. Okay. So first of all, I've had like this mouse that I'm showing over here um, from its release date. So it's like 2011 and we're like in 2018 and the mouse like still works, um, has no problem. The, it had only two problems that they fixed it. Uh, well, one of them they did, it was like the left click mouse, uh, like went bad and they repair it on warranty because it was like the last day of the warranty. So, uh, <laughs> it just broke down on the last day of the warranty. Uh, so I went in with it and they repaired it. The second thing that got damaged is the cable, uh, which they did not repair it. And uh, whoever has this mouse um, can see if the camera would focus that uh, this is not the original cable. Uh, this is actually a cable from a Microsoft mouse that I had lying around. And the second thing that I want to show you are these uh, four months old headset from Razen, the Kraken. So just so you know, first of all, they had like this little click when you put this, which broke, just broke. And as you can see, like the headphones uh, aren't any damaged in any way. Um, they're good. You can still like um, hear the sound through them. The microphone is working correctly. No problems with that. But I, I want to do this without like, I don't know if you guys can see it. Oh, it's the microphone. Okay. I don't know if you guys can see it, but this just broke. It just like tear off. You can you can see it here. Just tear off just by using them. So just by putting them on and taking them off. So no damage like dropping them on the ground, uh, putting them in the water or any other like mechanical or physical things happen to them. They just broke off. First thing that I did was like with my Steel Series mouse, um, the Sensei, which if you notice it here, it doesn't have the little LCD anymore. And I'm going to explain to you why it doesn't have the little LCD anymore. So uh, first thing I do, okay, so the left button broke. I went into the warranty. They changed it. Everything works fine. The mouse like works fine. It has no problem with it. Uh, I also have like a Razer Mamba, right? And I also have, just so you guys understand, I also have a, a Razer or not a keyboard. And I also have a Razer Leviathan uh, like sound system, which I cannot get it off my desk because all the cables and everything. And I also have a Razer mouse pad, right? And I also have at work a Steel Series mouse pad and a Logitech G403 uh, uh, mouse uh, because I I used this mouse at work, uh, so it broke, so I had to buy a new one. Okay, so the idea was. Uh, the cable broke, so I was like, okay, I, I searched like the web for replaceable uh, cables. I was like, okay, I'm going to open it myself. It's not like in warranty. I'm going to open it myself. I'm going to change the cable, and that's it. I could not find the spare cable. Okay, that's fine. Um, I reached out to the support, and I said, um, I will pay you for a new cable. I just need a new cable. The mouse is like in perfect shape. It works fine. Um, everything is okay with it. I mean, it's like seven years since I have it and it works like fine. I just need a new cable. Uh, they responded and they said that no, it's, they don't, they don't have that, um, in stock and blah, 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 blah. Okay. And I said, okay, can you recommend me a place that sells cables so I can buy one? That's like, I, I would say compatible, which is not the case because any, any cable, as I found out like later works with any kind of mouse, but whatever. So they were like, no, we cannot. And then I, I said, okay, I found on, on Amazon or eBay. I don't remember where, um, cables for still series sensei raw edition. Will they work? If I take the raw edition cable and put it on my still series sensei, will it work? Uh, response was at this point is just a guess. Okay. Okay, so what I did was open up the mouse, looked at the cable, noticed that it's just a standard cable that every mouse has. Okay, and I went and got like uh, one of my older Microsoft mouse. Uh, it was in blue, uh, Opti Blue something mouse that 
um, I used it in the past and I got the cable from out of that and I put it into this one. Um, I, I need I needed to do like a bit of a changing around the way that the uh, contact was, was being placed in. Uh, to fit, but it just fit it and the mouse booted up and it's like it's working fine now I'm using it on my laptop to work and, and so on uh, The problem was like inside it has like inside this mouse has um, So there's like two of them here um, Two of them two connectors here uh, There's one connector here and another connector here. So that makes four connectors uh, for the lighting and the buttons and everything and the LCD plus the power for the LCD, it's, it's, it's so, it looks so, so, so bad when you open it up. Everything inside it except the powering for the LCD is like so nice connected with pins and everything. The power for the LCD is soldered with two freaking cables. And it's being soldered like a five-year-old's got that soldered and they just like started soldering on that plate. And of course for me, like trying to put the cables in and putting everything in, it got her off. So I didn't want to like solder and stuff like that. So I just laid it aside because it was just a display. But I'm going to show you how, um, I'm going to tell you how important that display is for this mouse if you are still using it. Um, because this mouse was being made that you could use it without software like most of the mices that we have today and so on. But the whole idea for this mouse was that if you want to configure anything on the fly, you could press a combination of buttons, which I never used, but I, I did it like one time to see if it works. And you would have an OS displayed here, which would let, would let you configure your profile and every setting on your mouse that you have in your still series engine, which worked fine. So that display right here, it's that freaking important. So it's that important, right? And you get it like the power cables, the two power cables are soldered like a five-year-old just learned how to solder. Of course it broke and I didn't want to like start like soldering it and blah, blah, blah. I, maybe I will do it at some point. I'm not using this mouse to game anymore. So I don't care about that feature and that LCD here. I'm just using it like to get work done. And I like it because it's like pretty accurate and I work with grids and stuff like that. And I like like being accurate and shit. Okay. So. This is a still series product that it costed around 125 euros seven years ago. Seven years ago, 125 euros, which is a lot of money back then. Uh, I got it from day one when they released it. Um, I was happy with it. It worked fine. It still works fine. Unfortunately, customer support and then when it comes into helping you, uh, it's zero. It's absolutely garbage. It's rubbish. It's whatever you want to call it. It's like, the, okay, so you have a mouse that's not in warranty anymore. Uh, the owner of the mouse is contacting you and saying, I cannot use my mouse. Please recommend me an USB cable. I'm not going to sue you if you recommend me a USB cable that won't work. Honestly, I'm not going to do that. Like, I'm asking you for help. Make my... Make your product work again. It's a five years old product that still works and it's in great condition and you refuse to help me. You refuse to like paste the link or say, go on, e uh, go and buy whatever USB cable you want or make sure you buy this USB cable or you can use um, another USB cable for a sensei and it will work. No, it's just like, it's a guess. So it's not like going to technicians or whomever like developed the mouse and saying, hey, can they use like another USB cable to get their mouse working? No, it's like, I'm not going to help you whatsoever. Okay, whatever. Uh, next thing is uh, the headphones. The headphones, which I'm not going to flick around too much because I don't want them broken um like more because I want to take them to the warranty because these headphones are four months old. Four months old uh, Razer headphones. First of all, and first of all, um, like this thing like broke. It, it, it had like a little thing that kept your, your, your microphone up here and it just used to do like a, a, like a, like a clack when, when you put your microphone up and it would be like clack. Okay, uh, that's, that, that doesn't work anymore. For some reason, it doesn't work anymore. It just doesn't. It stopped working. It just stopped working. Right. And then 
uh, this thing right here on the left side, it broke. The thing is that after I bought them, I started reading some reviews and people were saying, oh, it's shit because like the, um, the left, the, the left side, it's, it, it will, it will torn because it's bad and so on. And I was like, I was using it for like a month, a month and a half, two months. And I was like, oh, it's, it's working fine. And I, I mean, I have a pretty big head and it's like, they, they did not break until now. So it's fine, I guess. Uh, they just broke last week. Uh, so what I do is like I couldn't find like the receipt for them, so I reach out to Razer. I've registered my product on my own account. I reach out to Razer because like you get one year, one year producer warranty. That's what they say in the little books that you get, get, and that's what they say in your app. You get one year. It's like I buy them today, I get one year warranty from the producer so it doesn't matter in what country you live that's what I, my understanding from them because they do not say that it's limited to some countries it doesn't matter in what country you live what uh, leave it, it doesn't matter what kind of legislation you have in your country in our country uh, we get two years warranty um, by the reseller but razor gives you one year warranty just like apple gives you one year a warranty for your iphone isn't that crazy Right, so I, I emailed them and I go, okay, I have these Razer headsets. This is what happens. Blah 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 blah. Whatever. Right. Uh, guy comes back to me from support and says, okay, I'm sorry that uh, blah 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 that happened. Uh, please give me like these things and there are like pictures. How did this happen? Um, and, and proof of purchase. At that point, when I replied to him, I did not have like the proof of purchase, but fortunately, I found it and I attached it later. They come back to me and say, oh, yeah, you know something? You bought it from a reseller. Go to your reseller to replace them. Okay. Uh, aren't you supposed to give me one year war warranty, Razor? Like from a producer? Like from a producer standpoint, that, that's what you say. That's what you say. You say that I have one year warranty producer. For example, I had uh, two gigabytes of, of RAM that, that I bought from Kingston, which they are lifetime warranty, by the way, which did not work. And I didn't went to the reseller. I went directly to Kingston. And guess what? They said, no problem. Send them to us and we'll send you a fresh one. And they did that. And they did that. And that memory costed as much as your headphones. So why do you send me to the reseller? When you give like one year warranty, I've registered my product. I give you like proof of purchase. You say in your legal contracts that uh, you are going to, to give one year warranty. What does that mean? Explain it. Does that mean if I go to the reseller and say uh, these headphones just broke by themselves? Uh, are you going to replace them? Like, are they going to get in contact with you and they're going to say like, oh yeah, we're going to replace them for free under one year, right? Or I go to the reseller and say, then they say I did not handle them properly. When that's not the case, because I have a cheap headset from Logitech that I bought. It's like under 50 USDs that I use it for work, that I traveled with it to France, I traveled to, with it to, into Canada and um, other countries in the EU and it still works and it didn't break. And look at it. Look at it. It's a cheap ass headset, Razer. It's a cheap ass headset from freaking Logitech, right? A cheap ass headset. And I have it for over two years and nothing broke on it. And it was in high altitude situations in an airplane. It traveled to Canada. It traveled to Paris. Uh, it traveled into a lot of UE countries, EU countries. And it didn't, it, 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 it didn't stop working. It didn't break. It didn't do anything. It's just working. And it's under, under 15 USD because I bought it myself. And it's a, it's a, it's a cheap as headset by Logitech, right? Your direct competitor. Um, and this, which is a hundred, a hundred and something euros, these broke in four months of just using them. Just using them, just putting them on my head and taking them off. They just broke. So uh, the reason for this video is stop buying Razer and Steel Service product. Because even if you're a fanboy, even if you love it, even if you whatever, they're shit. It's absolute shit. 
uh, the layout that shows you the DPI of your mouse will slow your game down really, really bad. I had problems with their Synapse and with their Mamba mouse because uh, apparently uh, I could not use their high-tech sensor because I had it like a, um, a mouse pad that was like had multiple colors on it and the sensor would not know how to read it and it would just act stupid on it. Uh, so I, I went out and I said, okay, I have a Razer mouse, let's buy a Razer um, a razor mat, so I went out and, and bought a razor mat, which now works fine. And even even now, with all the updates and everything that they got into the Synapse, the mouse still, from time to time when it boots up, does not know how to correctly read the, the, the matte surface and how to correctly adjust the DPI so that I would be able to move my mouse. So it's broken. Razer Synapse is broken. It's so broken, it's bad. It's it's really, really bad. And I had a ton of problems with it. They had to reset my account. And, and it's, it's just bad. Whatever. Moving to the SteelSeries engine. SteelSeries engine actually worked um, a bit fine in Windows and when switching into games and so on. But it's still shit. I had a bit of a problems with that. Uh, finding out that it some, somehow resetted all my problems profiles and every setting that I had on the mouse and restoring it back to factory uh, and this almost happens on every update that I do to the still series engine for some freaking reason it doesn't save my profiles that I have and it also uh, writes over the ones on my profiles that's why I exported them and whenever I do a still series engine update I import them but I do not care anymore at this point because I'm not using this mouse as a gaming mouse and I just don't care I have the default profile with like whatever set settings I have so it's shit it's it's just shit like their software it's shit moving on their customer support is shit okay I can understand the still series point of view like not saying like you, you need to use that cable uh, or you can use that cable or whatever I don't care I can give you an, an example I have I have a power supply from chief tech that's five years or six years old and I needed replacement cables for it. I messaged them on Facebook and I said, I have this power supply. I need backup cables for it. Can you please help me? They provided me a link from a third party supplier from where I can buy backup cables if I wanted to. Yeah, for a, for, a, for a power supply that's out of warranty, that it's like really old and out of the market, but it's it still works. Still series could not do that. Uh, Razer has one year uh, producer warranty. What does that mean? Do, do, you, do you change my headphones for free? Do I need to throw them in the trash? Because if, if you're not going to change, like if, if you're not going to replace my headphones, I'm going to grab a baseball bat and I'm going to like bash them and, and I'm going to send to you like the video because this is shit. My headphones worked for three months and they broke with no harm being done to them, just using them. So this video is just a rant about SteelSeries and Razer. Uh, products that you are buying and you are getting like no support for whatsoever, right? Uh, maybe that's in Europe. Maybe that's also applied in the US or in Canada. I don't know. I don't know. But stop buying Razer and still, still series uh, products. I will uh, probably I will move to Logitech uh, with everything. So yeah.